Where do I start? How do I word this? Take the word subscribers, for instance. Or, well, subscribe. Okay, if it was subscriber, I'd be talking about the people on my that subscribe to my channel, right? If there was a RS on the end, I'd be talking about multiple subscribers and, and how my subscribers are special. But if there was an R and an apostrophe S, I'd be talking about something about the subscribers. Like if I'm talking about the smiles my subscribers have on their faces. My subscribers' smiles, there would be an apostrophe S. Okay? And they call these people, they okay, the, the public servants. Okay? They work in public service. They're not the public's servants to where they you think they're there to service you and you alone. No. I say words matter too. That's why I think they need to rewrite the Constitution. And especially that goddamn poster seven. Use words that can't be played with. Use words that can't be misunderstood, misrepresented, misconstrued, all that shit. It's driving us crazy. These people wouldn't know a real assault if it told them it was hungry. Or if it told them they were hungry. I can't, I can't figure out what's going on with this guy's hair. That match. Here's it? a disc stain in the connect between the community and the law enforcement. They, they're so weird. Oh, I paused the wrong thing. <laughs> they say they're there under official business, under an official capacity, as a journalist or a reporter. But you, th you see, here's the thing. Okay. They're diminishing not only the word assault. Hold on. I think my cat's fighting a ghost. I don't know what her deal is. I heard a squirrel over there. They'll be coming to the door soon. <laughs> a squirrel. Listen. Privacy, you know, and, and he didn't, for some reason, didn't understand that I have privacy rights. What? And Wait. So, Wait a second now. You have privacy rights. I thought there was no expectation of privacy in public. How come they get a right to all this privacy and no one else does? Good morning, squirrel. Hello? Hi. Good morning. You don't want to? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Hi, Mittens. I seriously can't tell what's going on with this guy's hair. I was like, I was like this guy says I look, you look like a, a clown. It's funny to me. You kind of do, though. Because it's not okay to later. Listen when he says. You know, because this is an extension of me. That's an assault. To walk up and just take someone's property. No. Not only assault, it's a theft. What? At least a uh, uh, simple Wait. battery. No, there, there's another thing, okay? Yeah diminishing the meanings of their words. They diminish the meaning of the word assault. They diminish the meaning of the word molested. They're diminishing the positions and, and jobs of journalists and reporters everywhere, and photographers even, too. The First Amendment does not say the right to film the public. They have went from saying... I could record anything I can see in public to saying I can record every anything I can see from public. Meaning I could have them out here one day recording my house and them just say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. I'm in public. You can't do nothing. And, and what do I do? What do I do? Call the cops? What are the cops going to do? They're just there to protect property, right? The camera. They're there to protect that fucking camera. The property. It's like the people don't really matter. So it brings me back to to this day. 
January 6th, and all the people here, all the facial recognition where they found all these people, and a lot, well, not all of them, a lot of them have been found, and the old keepers that are in the crowd, the people that help them get in there and smear shit all over the walls, they, they are people that are in the military and cops and junk. And they're in the crowd. And they're helping people walk through here. They were helping them get inside where they were smearing shit all over the walls and breaking in the rooms and looking to, to kill people and hurt people. And they were. And they built a gallow out here and they were chanting to hang our vice president. It, it was disgusting. And these are all business owners and junk. They're, they're, look at them all. I mean, you got your everyday slobs in there too, but a lot of these people are business owners and real estate agents and stuff, and people that wouldn't mind some people, you know, getting off Social Security and getting their homes and their property and all this shit. So they want to spread the sickness and everything, and they want to confuse people. And they're so good at the brainwashing and the confusing. Check this shit out. Watch. Look what I found. Watch this. All right. Here's somebody that could have been in the crowd and passed for an American, right? Clearly. White guy, right? Oh, well, good morning, Squirrel. Do you want another one? I got an old man. Could have passed for an American, but listen to him. And obviously, the threat level in terms of, of terrorists at the moment is quite high. That's I'm not a terrorist. Well, well, I'm telling you that that's the, th the threat level. I'm not saying whether you're a terrorist or not. They're clearly not in America. Clearly. You want to hear some grade A brainwashing? Well, check this out. Yeah. I refuse to answer based on the first, fourth, fifth, and fourteenth amendments of the United States Constitution. What? What? I refuse to answer based on the first, fourth, fifth, and fourteenth amendments of the United States Constitution. The squirrel, did he really just say that? Is their brainwashing really that good? And the thing with the Oath Keepers, they want money for the government. The Oath Keepers are, I think they're behind all this for more money for the cities. And these people, they're giving the city so much money with bail money and, and fines and fees and probation costs and all that shit. And I'm sure there were lawyers out here in this crowd that day, too. Old keepers. A lot of people want to say there was other people in here from the other side mixing the crowd. But with all the facial recognition and shit that they've looked back to, these are all people who are affiliated with people from this side. People that followed... The queue and, and stuff. Listen. And committed violent acts uh, against uh, police officers through facial recognition technology and using confirming information through other means, through social... Oh, I missed all that. Shit. I just fed this. <laughs> but yeah, no, if that's not domestic terrorism, I don't know what is. It's kind of scary. I don't like it. Do the, do the auditors even know what they're fighting for? Do they know why they've been brainwashed? Cops work in public service. It doesn't make them servants of the public. They want to go back to having slaves so badly. Let me tell you who's really ending up the slaves in the long run. It's the frauditors. The ones that are being used end up being the slaves. Would you like to know what makes them that way? Their own actions do it to them. There's children waiting for the school bus. They like to watch me feed the squares.
But yeah, no, it's in the community service they all get stuck doing. And the background checks, all the criminal history, all the poverty it's going to lead to. Yep, that's what they want, because they don't really care about Americans. Where'd that squirrel go? I zoom in and they disappear on me. He's up in the feeder. Look at his tail, it looks like Bob. Now he's over here saying if he can get this guy to apologize, then he won't press charges. So you won't ruin the guy's life if you're able to humiliate him. The fuck? That's not cool. For them, everything's always got to be a th under a threat of arrest. It's always got to go as far as to be an arrest or some sort of assault. And I, I don't understand why. Oh, there you are, Stripes. You ferocious beast. They wouldn't know a real assault if it knocked them the fuck out. I think that some of them might actually need it, too. They were clearly never disciplined as children. It's like they're just trying to numb us all up for when they pull their little shenanigans over at the White House. Cameras didn't even exist back when the First Amendment was thought up. Just look at this squirrel. Let me show you something. Look at these awkward words that get used. And the way they word it. An establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people. And blah, 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 yada, yada. It, it, it's worded to where it can be played with. That's why I spelled the Constitution with the capital C-O-N in the beginning. How does standing in the corner with the camera, acting like a security camera on crack, protect speech? Security cameras don't run their mouth and post it later. And security cameras don't follow you to your car to check out your license plate either. How oh, some security cameras ain't even in color. And some don't have audio. Actually, most of them don't record audio. As soon as people step onto a certain property, they should be able to have their privacy. Especially walking into a building. The building's walls should contain the privacy. There should be no reason they should have to block the sun out. And would they lay under the jun jungle gym with the camera pointed up just because people told them not to? And all the different kinds of cameras there are now. Watch this. This is, She's got a, a, a night... A night thing on it. She's ghost hunting. And she's got the spirit box running. But look. Wait, wait. I can hold it down. And look. Like on Google Maps. I can look around the room. And look this way. See, and these fraudators could put something like this out, out there. Oops. Shit. See, looking down, I'm going to look back up, I'm going to look back down, I'm going to look back up, see, this is me doing this, this is me doing this, I thought you could even, yeah, you can, you can even zoom, look at that, see, isn't that some scary shit? Yeah, I think so. Watch. See. And what if they were to go set one up in some place like this? Would someone be able to stop them? Would they? Could they? Well, would you look at that? I went over the 15-minute mark. Damn you, YouTube! I guess it's time to hang her up. You want to catch any more of my bitching or any of these cutesy little squirrely feedings? Just click on that subscribe button and stay tuned. The saga always continues here at the Peanut Butter House, and you never know what we'll be doing next. Meow.
been real. And there's no apostrophe S. Publicly accessible doesn't mean publicly owned. And rendering one as helpless implies that they are under attack. Who's attacking you?